Right, all in focus, I believe so. Outside of making these little YouTube videos, I am pursuing a career in the film industry. I've worked on a few exciting projects, including short films, a Sky series, and a few other projects, as a runner or location marshal. I've always wanted to make my own films, and the directors that inspire me to do that are films that I just generally love to watch over and over again, probably just because they're directed by a certain someone. These people are Guy Ritchie, Edgar Wright, and of course everybody loves Christopher Nolan. I've always been passionate with the way that scenes look, and sometimes shot. I'm obsessed with dolly zooms, which was probably born from watching Peaky Blinders a few too many times. The film I'm going to talk about today, and a particular sequence, is the night window scene from 1970. The man responsible for the superb cinematography and the whole look of this film, Roger Deakins. Directed by Sam Mendes, 1917 was released in the UK in December of 2019. It was the first movie I'd seen to attempt a story in real time comprised of seamless transitions throughout connecting everything together, making it feel like one continuous shot throughout the two hour film. Most know lighting is a very important part when it comes to production and is a great tool for physical storytelling. The night window scene is a perfect example of this fact. This scene was a major standout from this already incredible piece of cinema. The main sources of light from what I can see are the burning ruins giving off an orange warm glow to the background and the bright white light of the flares shooting overhead. Most of the lighting in this film had to be delivered by practical means as often 360 degrees of the set would be used and filmed in, often in the same shot, meaning they couldn't have a light standing over in the corner because it would be seen on film. So those flares are the main light source of the scene. They constantly move overhead of the ruins of the city and Schofield, creating moving, rotating, growing shadows. Everything has been meticulously planned out. A Schofield and the camera are running through the ruins of the town. This sort of gives off a sense of disorientation as obviously Schofield's mindset is probably all over the place. He's behind enemy lines. He's in a, you know, a completely alien environment. He also just had an altercation with a German sniper. This sequence is just a masterclass in how important visuals are to storytelling. I had no idea about cinematography properly anyway before seeing this film but seeing the whole the whole thing put together all the elements it sort of really made me think well what is cinematography because I knew vaguely but it sort of showed the importance of putting lights in like, you don't just light a set because it looks slightly better, there's no light at all. You put lights in because it can tell a story. It can tell a story as much as the characters, as much as the script. And that was down to this film. This film showed me and piqued my interest and made me think, ah, oh, cinematographer, that's such an important role. And without that, well, films wouldn't have the impact they have today. I could talk about this rich film all day, but I chose a night window scene in particular because I think it has become one of my favourite sequences or scenes in the whole of cinema. I just absolutely love it. In my opinion, films have the power to, to influence everybody. Now for me personally, I go to see films for escapism, to, to grow my imagination. And that's something I've always wanted to do for others. I've always wanted to make my own stuff, tell my own stories, express what I'm feeling through the power of film. And I think that's why it's so powerful. And that's why so many people love it. So let's just keep watching them. Let's keep watching and let's keep talking about films because they are incredible. Now, I'm going to go and I'm going to watch another one. What I will watch, I don't know. But... I'm going to go and watch a bunch more so I can talk about them. 
Thank you for watching. So you've just seen another one of my videos. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to keep watching and subscribe. Leave a comment as well. To Louis Marcus's YouTube channel. That's me, by the way. In case you were wondering.